today I have a dilemma. I am going to be working on my winter planters and I'm going to be replacing those planters right over there. Okay. You see that diamond frost euphorbia? It's gorgeous. It is not hardy um, in my particular zone. It's only hardy in like 10A, 10B, that kind of range. And I am 8A, but y'all, it looks like snow. It's glorious. It's kind of in a more protected area. What do y'all think? Should I pull it out? Should I just leave it? And then when it does officially die, then replace that portion of it. I can replace some of the plants now, leave the diamond frost for now, and then replace the rest later. What do you think? Okay, let me show you what my other options are for planting. Okay, so I picked up some of this purple kale, which I just thought was really pretty and would add some height in the planters. Um, I have uh, some of these white cabbage. They have a slight blush tone. I have um, white cyclamen and red cyclamen. And then of course, more of these white blotch pansies and the purple blotch pansies to fill in as well. So let me let y'all look at these planters. So they definitely already had some damage. I'm ready to let a lot of this go. Thanksgiving's in a couple of days, but I love the diamond frost euphorbia guys. It's just glorious. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna pull out the coleus, the other plants, obviously all these little stakes, pull all that out and replace them with these other plants. And let's see what we get.
so I kept the diamond frosty for me. I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't cut it. It's so pretty. So now my design looks super like lopsided. This big old massive thing and these newer plants that I haven't grown in yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to supplement it with a couple of faux um, pieces, branches in here to kind of fill out the height a little bit, a little bit more up and make the space look more balanced. Same thing on this side, left all the diamond frost euphorbia. I turned all the pots so that the euphorbia was towards the front so you could treat more. But let me see what I can do to help get this whole balanced out and make it work. last minute change. I ended up going back and adding in these dried hydrangeas. These are limelight hydrangeas to my planters for a little bit more of a natural element in them. And I freaking love them. But I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that. All right. Happy holidays.